Station 8. Jesus dies on the cross. Matthew 27, 45 through 54. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with sour wine, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the other said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried out again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. Trials and temptations are typically dark and lonely times for us. And we see that even with our Savior, as he cries out from the cross, Jesus felt abandoned, not just from the world, but by God as well. How horrendous that must have felt to know that God had turned his back on him and that there was no comfort from the Heavenly Father. Know that we will never experience this, no matter how tough times may be. The Bible promises that God will never leave us nor forsake us. Psalm 119 says that even as we walk through darkest death, God is with us. God is is comforting us. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. These observances today were designed so that you would not just look at the Stations of the Cross as something that we do during Lent, but rather as recognition of the experiences we all face every day. Christ went through an enormous amount of suffering and pain before his death, and although he died for us and for our sins, he did not take away the pain of life. The Stations of the Cross are so important because they help us find meaning in our own sufferings. The stations help us to see that many of the struggles that Christ went through are very similar to the same struggles that we all go through today. Walden Community Church would like to thank you for your participation. And please tell others of your experience here and help spread the blessings this time has brought you. Go with grace.